and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a wave effect. On the left we've got the original, I press Ctrl D to copy it. And I'll apply the effect to the right hand side. So make sure it's selected, go to extensions, raster and right at the bottom is this wave effect. The menu has two parameters, amplitude and wavelength. Let me check the live people first and we can see the effect in real time. But first the amplitude, it affects kind of like the y axis. So if I make that bigger, you can see that these spikes get bigger. 720 is the max for amplitude and wavelength. Let me go down here to 20 for now. The wavelength, it affects the x axis. If I go to 10, we've got way more of these waves. And if we go to the max of 720, we've got way less. And for this typical wave effect, we want a, a bigger wavelength. So let me use the 720. And I go up with the amplitude a little bit. But 100 was too much. Let me go down again. I would say 50 was all right. So I go back to that. You can add that effect multiple times. So just apply it and then reapply it. But I'm fine with this. But you can see that the frame or the border of the photo has also this wave. And we can get around that by using a rectangle. Then selecting both right click and clip. Now I drag it on top of the open and I resize that. So now it has the same size, but we've lost a couple of details on the on the border. So keep that in mind when you do that. But this is the best way to get around the problem at the frame. And this is how you can create this wave effect for photos in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.